Right, hello and welcome back to another video on Plan Swift. Alright, so for today we'll be talking about overlay or better known as a compare uh, between drawings or documents. Right, so some things to take note. Uh, at the top right hand corner, this is where the overlay function will be. Right, but before that, let's do some setting up. Right, so before you actually do the comparison or you do the overlay, you need to make sure that all the drawings that you want to overlay, whether it's the base drawing or the revised drawing coming in or version 2 you need to them uh, you need to actually load them all within plan swift right so for example if i have two drawings i need to overlay both needs to be loaded loaded as in you need to add the pages into plan swift first right you cannot have just one and then expect to search for the second drawing elsewhere on your computer or even from your cloud drive right so those are the first few things you need to take note of Right, so what I'll do is that I'll just do a normal overlay, which is just a comparative overlay. Right, so notice that it asks you to search for the overlay on top of current page. So the current page is my original. So it's important to select the base as your original drawing. So it will select the second one, which is a revised, to overlay on top. So I will select drawing A revised. Right, so they'll ask you, would you like to align this overlay now? Right, so for now, we're going to press no. Later on, we're going to have uh, an example uh, where we need to align. All right, so I'm going to click no first. Right, so first, what you can see here is that there are a few differences. You see the two colors. You see blue and you see red. Right, so let's zoom in first. Now, so all these um, color differences, uh, these are likely uh, not to be any big issue because these are probably because the hatch the hatching pattern and the scale is slightly different right they do not constitute any big changes in terms of quantity right but what you can see clearly is that there is a blue portion here and there's a red portion here right so in plan swift blue portions refer to deleted spaces deleted elements from your base drawing right and the red ones refer to the new elements which are added from your new drawing coming in Right, so from here, you can actually choose uh, a few different options. You can actually make use of the annotations, uh, the revision clouds, or you can place rubber stamps as well. And before finally, you can actually print it out uh, as a PDF uh, for future discussion. There, so on and so forth. Right, so I'm going to turn it off for now. The next one is what happens when you have different uh, sizes. Right, so for example, if I have a size like this, this is a smaller size compared to a larger size. So I will do a another compare, comparative overlay as well. Right, I will set, select the revision size. Right, so now I'm in a situation where definitely it's not the same scale, the same size. So yes, I will definitely need to overlay, uh, to align the overlay. So I'll click yes. And when you click yes, they will give you four steps. Right, you always have to have four steps. The first one is says fit, click first alignment point. So what I'm going to do is that I will click on one point where it is the same, right? So this corner here and this corner here are the same. So I will zoom in, left click, okay, move it to this corner, right? Now, so the first time that I do it, you notice that the point fits nicely, but the sizing is different. So that goes to show, yes, the other drawing is a bit smaller, right? So the first point done, I have done two clicks. So you also see here it says step three or four. So I need another two more clicks. So preferably it's best for you to pick uh, two points in one corner and two points in another corner, right? Okay, so now for example, when I look at this, I will pick this point and I click this point, right? So what I'll do is that I'll zoom in, left click on this point. Now you notice when I left click on that point, I the, the software is waiting for me to select my fourth and last point. So I'm actually selecting controlling the sizing now all right so i will zoom in place it on this point left click again then it's done all right so this is the example of if you when you need to align based on sizes with the four different alignment points all right okay now the last one what happens if i have a tilted drawing a tilted drawing right so if you have a tilted drawing you will actually go over to the page item right where there's a button called level all right so i'm going to click on level so they will ask you for two points so you need to click the two points that are of a straight line that you want to become the new horizontal right so i can actually just left click once here i can come into this room this item here click one more time and you see it would, the, the slanted 
line that you just selected will become the straight horizontal line. Right, so once you have it here, you can actually proceed to do as what I did for the second example and then scale for the different sizes. Right, so I hope uh, these three different examples have helped you out uh, with your overlay function in PlanSwift. Right, thank you. See you again.